Welcome back everyone, Michael here with Offshore Citizen. I'm continuing my crypto DeFi different problems explanation video series uh, where I'm going through different types of projects and the challenges that they tackle, trying to give you some sort of a layperson understanding so you know what the heck is this thing that uh, is being talked about and why is it important and therefore, you know, is it something that you might be interested in? Don't know if the, it's probably an unpopular set of topics, but I do think it's an important subject, so screw the views, let's just make good content. Uh, that being said, we do appreciate the views, so hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you like the video, please share it with your friends. Please give me feedback, you know, if you have something that you would like to see or you think could be improved, put it in the comments below. And if you have any interest in the topics that I primarily deal with, which is helping people with how to go over seas, over or the offshore, uh, set up international structures, pay the lowest legal amount of tax possible. You know what is the right solution for you in terms of citizenships, residencies, etc., and then actually implementing, making that happen for you, forming companies, open bank accounts, etc. Please reach out to me. There's a link in the description below, clarity.fm forward slash Michael Rosmer. You can book a call, or you can visit our websites offshorecitizen.net, offshorecapitalist.com, and you can send us a message. Okay. Today we're going to talk about cross-chain swaps, okay? Let's see if I can try and explain for you what's going on here. Um, all of the different cryptocurrencies, basically, uh, you have these so-called blockchains. Now, I shouldn't really say all of them because, for example, Hedera Hashgraph is actually not a blockchain, uh, but it would be considered cryptocurrency. But anyway, uh, you've got all these different uh, chains. And a chain is kind of like, you can think of it like a database or like a uh, cloud storage service, okay? Let's kind of think of it in those terms. It's, it's an imperfect analogy, but let's just take it. So you have Dropbox, you have Google Drive, you have iCloud, you have OneDrive, right? All these different ones. And they might be storing information and they all have their own individual way of doing things, right? And it's also all good when you wanna share between those, you know, within that little ecosystem, right? You wanna share that Google document with somebody in Google Drive, no problems. But what about when you want to share from Google Drive to OneDrive or to iCloud? Now all of a sudden you run into a problem, okay? So right now, I mean, the main chain is, I mean, Bitcoin and then Ethereum. Uh, now we're getting Polkadot coming out. We have Binance Smart Chain. We have Hyobi Eco Chain. We have XDAI. We have uh, Avalanche. We've got, there's uh, Cosmos a little bit different, but anyway, there's some different, uh, different chains out there, okay? And the reality is that lots of times you want to swap assets. You're like, hey, listen, I have Cardano and I would like to get EOS, but these are different chains. So right now, if a person says, okay, hey, I maybe have uh, something that, there's a whole, like a ton of projects are built on Ethereum, okay? Ethereum is like the windows of blockchain. And so as a result, there's like thousands of projects built there and very few on these others. And if you want to swap within a win this Windows-like ecosystem, which is you know Ethereum, right? I can say one for another, it's no problem. They're all, they interconnect. And so I can go to some place like Uniswap or SushiSwap or some others, and I can do a swap. So I can trade any of these similar tokens. So I can trade Ethereum for, for example, uh, Polka Starter or I can trade Polka Starter for, I don't know, uh, Rook, right? Something like this, it doesn't matter. And you know, maybe you can't change it directly, maybe you have to go from this to this to this, but no big deal, it all works. But now if I say, hey, listen, I wanna trade Polka Starter for Avalanche. Well, Avalanche is on a different chain. You're on, it's like, you can think of it as, I don't know, a different, floor of a house, a different, a different building basically, right? It's like, hey, within this building it's easy, but now what if we have to get to the other building? That's where cross-chain bridges come in, okay? Cross-chain bridges allow you to move from one to another. So one that I've been invested in for a while is ThorChain, the uh, symbol is Ruin. This is put together on Binance Chain, not Binance Smart Chain, but Binance Chain, it's what's called the BEP token, or BEP2, something like that. Um, and yeah, so there's a variety of different solutions coming in this direction, people trying to solve this cross-chain problem. Uh, another one that I invest in recently is the ticker symbol Ring, uh, Darwinia, which uh, is built on Substrate, which is related to Polkadot. Anyway, the whole point is that this interoperability 
is a big thing because you have all different projects using, there's different reasons why you would want to be here or here or here and what is it that allows you to work between them. So that's what these cross-chain bridge projects are, is they're enabling you to transact between these different, between the buildings, between the protocols, you know, that sort of thing. So I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Uh, but yeah, it, it is arguably in order to free up a lot of the resources, in order to make things work well together uh, over time, it's, uh, it's pretty important. And there's going to be some big winners there. I don't know what that's going to mean they're worth over time. I have a feeling that uh, Ruin can go up quite a bit from where it is. I think Ring can go up a lot from where it is. And we're going to find out. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you have questions, put them in the link below. Again, reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.